Hey, what's going on? Uh, YouTube, SneakerTube.tv, Shaman Air Jordan 14, back. The latest video, it's been uh, a little longer uh, than I thought, it's a long time coming, but uh, we're finally back with the uh, latest installment of the continuing, uh, I guess, documentation or whatever you want to call it of my collection. So we're up to volume 12. Um, some of you might be wondering why I'm old school at wearing the sneakers around my neck. Um, as you can see, I've got on my uh, Jumpman Bostick uh, straight to the foot game t-shirt. Um, those of you who are not uh, followers, I'd say go check out his channel. Um, true, truly an OG in the game. has, has a, one of the most amazing collections I think I've ever seen. But uh, one of his friends... Uh, Dub Slap Step uh, 415. Also, go check out his channel, and I'll post the link to that in the info section um, of the video. His brother uh, Kenneth recently passed uh, through an accident, and uh, so his favorite uh, shoe was the 13. So, what a lot of us are doing, you know, after I heard about it, uh, I wanted to definitely. Uh, show my support and, and, you know, let him know that I don't know him personally. Um, you know, losing a family member like that is, you know, it's it's a real tough deal. And just to let him know, you know, him and his family, um, that, you know, our prayers and, and, uh, and thoughts are with him. So, uh, you know, it, it's a real rough ordeal. So, what you'll see a lot of us doing will be, you know, either wearing... Uh, this t-shirt if we've got it, or a black t-shirt, and then something bread. So I've got, uh, a 13s here. These are, are the retros. Uh, didn't want to quite show my whole hand for the, uh, upcoming 13 video, which will even be like, but, um, so that's why I'm doing that out of respect to him. So I'll be wearing these around my neck, uh, for the video. So, you know, definitely shouts out to them, man, and, uh. You know, we'll definitely, you know, you will be missed. So, we're going to go ahead and, and get into the, the shoes here. So, if you've been following the videos, you already know what shoe it is. So, further ado, I'm going to slide the camera over here so you can see. Um, today's shoe is indeed the Air Jordan 12. Um, you know, a lot of history happened in these. Um originally came out in uh, 1997 um, of course he won his fifth championship in these also recorded the first ever all-star triple double uh, in history in these and well you know the infamous uh, sick game in game five of the finals took place in the 12 so really really a historical shoe and a legendary shoe so Let's uh let's jump right into it. First up on deck here is woo is a pair of of OG uh bread twelves, uh sick game twelves, flu game twelves, you may hear them called all of this. Um I've had these for quite a while, obviously, as you can tell. Um anybody who's had, you know, OG twelves know that I don't know if you can tell where it says jump man right here, sometimes you may get some separation right there. Um, between it, that's just to let you know how long that I, I've had these. But um, the OG 12s, these things are built absolutely like a tank. I mean, um, of course, I don't have to get into it. Everyone knows that, you know, the OGs have just a real nice leather on them. And, and you know, it, it really is, even after all these years, the leather still feels really, really soft and really good. Um, so, here are these, yes. I actually balled in these, yes. We did actually hoop in Jordans, I know. So, here are those. Then up next, got the OG white and red 12s. Um, you can see the white, beautiful white leather upper here. And you've got this partial uh, red rand here um, on the lateral side. And then partially on the medial side there then on your sole which is red and you've got the black herringbone traction areas there which are, of course your carbon fiber 
there. There's your heel tab right there. You can see black sock liner right there. And um, when I got these, I don't know what happened to the original insoles, but I put some other ones in here. And I took those out for some reason, so I don't know where they are. I don't know why I did that, but. Yeah, though, still look pretty good even after all these years. Might wear these today. Uh, up next here, we've got the uh, the Obsidian Retro Lows here. It came out in 2004. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, pretty okay leather here. You know, the Obsidian uh, leather here. And then you've got the white here. You know, and then again, on that medial side there, a white outsole with your obsidian uh, herringbone areas there. Columbia Jumpman uh, there, and then your 23 right there. Um, I got these because for some reason I've not been able to track now an OG pair in my size. I never have been able to. So... For the time being, I had to settle for these. Um, so, I've heard the rumors of the possible uh, 1112 CDP with these and the Columbias. I know it's not been confirmed, but I'd like to see that. Just, I can get, you know, a pair of Columbia, I'm a, a Obsidian Mids, so I can find a pair of OGs. Up next is yet another pair of OG sick games here. Um, as you can see, these are, you know, almost, these are pretty close to dead stock. I've, I think I've worn these maybe once, um, as you can tell. Um, even the leather still kind of feels kind of tacky. You know how that, that new leather feels. But um, so these are these. Um, just the, the 12 is really just a beautiful shoe. I know sometimes it can get lost in the shuffle. Because it came right after the 11, but the 12 is a it's a great great shoe, um, you know especially if you played in it. I mean they're, they're the originals anyway are, are almost indestructible. I mean this it's just a really great basketball shoe. So there are those still have the OG box for those and those by the way. Um, moving to the back row, yet another pair. I don't know why I went overboard with. With this colorway uh, of, of the OG 12s. But this was the one I, I actually, I wear this particular pair way more than I do this one right here. For just for whatever reason. Usually it's the one I can get to quickest. So, just to show you the difference how much, as you can see, clear difference. They have obviously rocked these way more. But, um... Yeah, just a, a favor of mine. I guess I went through a fade where I went really hard and, and uh, <laughs> kept buying the same colorway over and over and over again. So, there are those. Yet another pair. Uh, you know, next, we got the OG Taxis. No CDP Taxis. These are OGs. Um, love this shoe. Love it, love it, love it. One definitely one of the favorites in my collection. I need another pair because it's a little crack right there, hairline on the Jumpman tab right there. But a beautiful, beautiful shoe. Really one of my all-time favorites. See that. There you go. Right. And. Moving along, got the new Bucks uh, from 2003, and uh, if you'll remember, these were uh, actually an online exclusive, and uh, you had to, to log on to the website a certain time to get them, and it was crazy um, trying to get these. It was, I don't know how I managed to get two packs, I, I really don't, but um. I know they brought them out, I believe it was in 2008, and uh, I was I was still out of the shoe game at the time, and I didn't know, so I saw somebody wearing them and, and got to talking with them, and after looking at them, the 2008 in comparison to these really suck, because um, on these, you know, it, it has a nicer 
uh, New Buck, you know, on the, on the, oh, eight, it's, it's really crappy. Um, it's just, it's just re very, very nice. Um, even this leather here is, is, is pretty good, especially in comparison to the, the 2008s. And then you've got your, uh, Lord, <laughs> uh, University Blue, uh, Jumpman, uh, right there. And you've got the same thing there. At your tab right there with the uni blue jump man there I'll show you that um, you've got the uni blue and the tongue there where you can see that and on the bottom I showed you that already but I'll show it to you again and um, hopefully you can see on the carbon fiber it's black and university blue um, it also came with a hat and a hoodie which I still have and I occasionally wear so here are these. As you can see I've I've only worn these probably maybe five times since I had them. So. And those last but certainly not least, uh, 2004 uh, retro playoff twelves. Um, remember these? These he was. MJ was wearing these when he hit that shot over Brian Russell at the end of Game 1 of the 97 Finals. Uh, these came out in 2003. Um, you know, really nice tumbled leather on the uppers of these. Um, this is still obviously when they cared. Um, you got your white there. Look at that. Yep, these are still DS. Hand worn them. Keeps, every time I think I'm going to wear my chicken out and, and don't do it, um, I'll let you see that. There's the, the back heel tab. There's the 23 on the back. But eventually, I may, I may wear them. The weather's warming up, so, you know, you don't really see, you don't see these too often anymore than being eight years old. So it might be, it might be time to break them out. So if you, if you know them, you may see these this summer, so. Those are my twelves. Um, the camera, so you can get a better, better shot of them. Okay, and the OGs, and then I lift it so you can see the back there. Okay, so here's my little um, twelve collection there. Um, you know, appreciate uh, everybody that's been checking out the videos. I do appreciate it. Um, the support and everything, you know, it just really means a lot, you know, that, that people, <coughs> excuse me, are actually, you know, taking the time out to view my videos, and I do appreciate it, and I do answer, you know, all, any, any comments or anything like that, so I do appreciate all of that. Um, also, if you get a chance, definitely, uh, check out, um, uh, Jumpman Bostick's channel, as well as, a uh, Dub Slap Step 415, um, you know, Perhaps maybe send him some condolences or something like that. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. So, you know, shutting the lid on this review. As always, I appreciate everyone watching. And uh, wish everybody much peace, much positivity, and many blessings. And I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.